you could see me now The one who said that he'd rather roll The one who said he'd rather be alone I can smell him from up here. Well, he can smell you too. Still not a fan, huh? What you saying? Just an ewe expression. It means that you're very brave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They use a light touch on the sedatives. He's our escort, so we can't have him comatose when we reach Hollow Earth. What if Kong doesn't go willingly? What do you do then? Dr. Lind, please report to the forward deck. Dr. Lind. Excuse me. New arrivals! I can see up on my mind. I'll call down as soon as have I run point for Apex. Nathan Lind, mission chief. Yeah, don't worry. I'm just here to babysit. The Hollow Earth aerial vehicles are on their way to Antarctica as we speak. I know you people think you're cutting edge, but these prototypes we're loaning you will make what you've been oh. flying look like used Miatas. I love Miatas. Forget about the price tag, which is obscene, of course. The anti-gravity engines alone produce enough charge to light up Vegas for a week. Feel free to be impressed. Wow. All right, we'll be at the Antarctica entry in 48 hours. This path will get us into Hollow Earth. Once we're inside, Kong should lead us to the power source. Now the gravitational inversion will be quite intense. Our best guess is that on entry it'll feel like bungee jumping with a cord tied to your lower intestine. But if your helicopters are as good as you heaves. say, if your heaves are as good as you say they are, I believe we can do this. They'll do the job. You just gotta do yours. Excellent. Dr. Andrews, we've avoided all Godzilla's known territorial waters according to your guidelines. Good. Do I need to be concerned? Yes, they do have a way of sensing threats, and we believe that they have an ancient rivalry. The myths say that their ancestors fought each other in a great war. So if they meet again, who bows to who? Is that it? <laughs> now, I spent ten years on that island studying him. I know this for sure. Kong bows to no one. 